So before I get into this video, I just want everyone to stop and breathe. Because sometimes when we keep it in too much, it just festers in us and it makes it all worse. So when things get tough and when things get hard, just remember to breathe. Hello everyone. So today's actually a pretty nice day. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the breeze is blowing, and my skin is getting a little bit better. I may have a few dark spots. So today, I pretty much just wanna keep talking about what I've been talking about for like the past year, ever since I started school. Oh my God, I don't really know where I'm even going with it. God. So for those of you who don't know, I went to college straight out of my senior year and I studied fashion and then now it's summer and I applied to FIT during my second semester of college. I got in and pretty much they've been slacking. There are so many people out there that have the same problem that can't go back to school because they can't afford their tuition, they have family problems going on, life happens and not everybody knows that. So I start next week and I haven't even gotten my financial aid packet back from them yet. So it doesn't help at all. Like how am I supposed to know how much my tuition is? I kind of registered for classes, but I did that all on my own and I had no one to help me with it. Like I don't even have an academic advisor or coach. Like no one assigned anything to me. Like no one emails me. When I call them, it's like, fuck you. We don't want to help you. And like, I really am trying because I really want to go to the school. But first of all, I'm doing this all on my own. Like my parents don't really help me. They do what they can, but that's a whole other story. In all, I just don't have the perfect support system like a lot of other people do. I started on the 20th and I really don't think that I'm gonna be able to go. Um, I haven't got to my dorm, so where the hell am I gonna stay? I wanna stay with someone, but I have no one to stay with. Like, I really don't know what the fuck I'm gonna fucking do. I haven't even got to my ticket because I didn't wanna bother getting my airplane ticket if I'm not even gonna be able to go to that school. So I rode to Ellen for the fourth time today. I mean, like, I haven't given up hope. I mean, like, she's really, <laughs> like, I'm not using her as a crutch, but, like, that's, like, a really big option. Like, she's helping sending people to school. Why not help me? I'm the one that really, really needs it. So, as of now, it really just looks like that I'm not going to be able to go to FIT because I just can't afford the tuition. That's really just it. I just can't go because I can't afford the tuition. And, I mean, it would be okay if I, like, lived in a house where it was nice and there was loving people and it was a great place to be. But my life is not like that. I have a fucking shitty life, to be honest. And I don't want to live there anymore. Like, I really, that's why I really, 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 really want to go to college. Because it's just my place. I belong there. I want to be in school. I love school. I was so set on going to FIT and now I just feel so ashamed and embarrassed that I can't go anymore because I can't afford it. Like, oh, I'm the poor one. Everyone keeps telling me like all the different ways that I can pay for it. Like, I promise, I looked into all of it. You name it, I looked into it. So I just wanna be rich and not have to worry about this kind of stuff. In the words of Jay-Z, I did this so you don't have to. I'd rather be the one that has to struggle and go through it so that when it's time for me to help someone else go to college or other people go to college or even do anything else. Like, I'll let them know, like I've been through that and I'm gonna help you guys. In short, I guess, I'm just gonna try and talk to FIT, let them know, like, this is it, like, I can't, I guess I'm not gonna be able to go because I can't afford my tuition, and then we'll see what happens from there. Hopefully, we'll all pray and cross our fingers that maybe they'll somehow be able to help me. If not, then I'm gonna have to defer or default and return when I'm able to return, I'm one of those people that have to take a gap because I just can't afford it. Which sucks to say, but that is a real truth and that is a reality. I mean, you know what? It happens. It happens to a lot of people. It happened to me. I'm... I don't know. Just because it happens doesn't make you a, the worst person in the world. Doesn't make you dumb. You can look at it in a positive... I'm looking at it in a positive way. I mean, it really sucks really sucks that I have the chance to go to FIT, but I just can't go. Main thing is, I got admitted, so they know I belong there. I know I belong there. <laughs> Maybe next year. That's okay. Casually holds back tears. So this is just kind of like an update, what's going on, what happened, the reality, the truth. Just want to let you guys know what's going on. People told me like to start a GoFundMe, but like, do I start a GoFundMe? Like, I don't even know what to say. Like. I just struggle with having to pay for everything. That's pretty much it. And I just need money to pay for it so I can go to my 
so I can achieve my dreams. Like that's it in a nutshell. I am hopeful, who knows, maybe something will come up, but I will keep you guys updated. I will let you guys know the scoop, the shade, the tea. But most importantly, just remember, just because you guys love the society does not accept, it does not make you any less important. You guys are all amazing and I love you. See you guys later. Bye.